I'm excited that we have new features in the game where you can mold your player on the fly as you play games. Going to be interesting. Now, these are words from Mike Wang um, on his official Twitter, uh, Baluba on Twitter. You guys, make sure to go follow him and NBA 2K Leaks and, you feel me, my Twitter, Vidal Season. You should find all these links down in the description, y'all. So, today we're back with the NBA 2K24 news video. Make sure you guys go down, hit the like button, subscribe. As you guys saw in the start, the like goal is 100 likes for this video. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about pretty much the new, the new news that's been posted. Um, you know, the badge system that's going to be in 2K24. And just how the new features are going to be implemented into your my players, um, into the play now, and just the overall gameplay um, of NBA 2K24. So getting into the first news right here, moves. It really is a little bit of everything. Making the NBA players play exactly like their real life counterparts is a never ending journey for us. It's something I think we've taken to the next level on NBA 2K24 now. From the news that I've heard, me personally, my take on this, um, you know, I really think NBA 2K24's gameplay is going to be something we've never had before. Um, a lot of people do say 2K has the same gameplay, same, um, it's a copy-paste game. You know, I would say it's copy-paste for the rewards, um, you know, for the features like the park, uh, you know, my team could be a little bit copy-paste. Um, I don't want to speak too much on my team because I'm not really a my team YouTuber, but I can definitely say for gameplay over the past couple of years, 2K has kept it pretty different, man. There's always been a different meta, so I can't completely agree with, um, you know, the people out there that are saying NBA 2K24 is a copy paste um, gameplay wise. But um, I think this is a step in the right direction. You know, they've added in um, their new system, their new motion system, and even... Um, certain players like curry um if you guys were on my channel last year i posted a james harden step back tutorial um this year i'm gonna be definitely making sure to get you guys tutorial videos for you know james harden um stephen curry all these different new players all the new moves are amazing man as stated right here they're really explosive uh just a really tight handle just like a real life player curry too he's actually a guy that we had come and do mocap so he did all these moves for us already, but we got even more this year, and they're pretty impressive. I know all the kids love Curry, so they're gonna going to like the improvements that we're going to see him this year. So how do you guys feel about this, man? Pretty much they've said right here, um, they've added more moves, and I've added like, I guess it's like impersonations of my players. Like obviously the moves aren't going to be too different from the previous years but i'm guessing now they've added a bit of source to like just the body language of my players um if you guys know what i mean by that mean by that um this is like the triple threat stance and stuff like that so this is pretty cool um i don't know if you guys remember back in uh 2k16 i believe it was only actually it was in 2k15 as well um since we're talking about stances right here there was actually a feature where you could um adjust your dribbling size so if you wanted to dribble all the way you know if you wanted to do low dribbles or you wanted to do high dribbles or even a balance um you could choose the way you dribble so um have 2k had this feature before is this a copy paste i know i was just uh you know giving them props on not having copy paste gameplay but you know 2k tends to do this um sometimes but moving on to the next screenshot right here the bad system has been a new talk you know over the couple few days on you know twitter make sure you guys go follow me once again vidal season are there any additional gameplay nuances that players might not notice at first that you want to highlight so this is obviously a question that mike wang or one of the developers that um was asked on twitter we haven't really announced much of it yet but the badge game is very nuanced this year. Let's uh, put it this way. The way you play on the court is going to reflect how your badges get shaped. So what do you guys think about that in the chat, man? Let me know. Uh, and, how you, and how your players look at the end of the day. So when you do something over and over again, let's say you like to do spin jumpers, you're going to see your ability as a spin jumper player improve steadily over time. And so you're going to find out that just the way you play the game what you like to do on the court is going to improve. Um, 
you're going to kind of build uh, your player in that aspect. So I'm excited about that. Chat, um, I'm saying chat. I'm not even live. Hey, look, y'all. I like this, bro. I like this. This is giving 2K19 vibes. A lot of people are saying, um, you know, this is kind of the 2K17 badge system, as in you can unlock any badge you actually want to unlock this year. But the problem is um, the way that you play is going to obviously determine what badges are going to be active for you. So, you know, not every badge is going to be activated for you um, as you guys play, but the badges that you do use, say you're a lockdown and um, you're ripping the ball a lot, pickpocket is going to be obviously Hall of Fame more than, um, you know, a shooting badge because you're playing as lockdown. So um, I like this right here and it's going to show like who's actually grinded the game and unlocked every badge, you know, a player like a player that has every badge is going to be, you know, it's going to be OP. But um, if you guys were listening yesterday in my video, um, attributes do matter more than badges this year. So it's not going to be OP to the point where it's unstoppable, but it's also going to be like respectable that, you know, he's earned all these badges. So these are the things that he's going to be able to do. And I think that's a step in the right direction right there for gameplay. I want to talk about one more thing real quick, which is the clans battles and just how the community is, you know, all coming back to this game right here so i think clans are coming back big time two wavy has started you know recruiting people too um if you guys don't know two wavy these are og 2k clans if you guys know nadex tmb has made a new um roster you know they did a recent clear out so i think clans are going to be big time in 2k24 man this game is going to really almost be like quarantine man it's going to be almost kind of quarantine 2k20 vibes so i think that's awesome man you guys know aiden um aiden ross is also coming back to play 2k24 he said that two hancho which was his old gamer tag or psn name is coming back to 2k so i'm excited i'm i'm big excited for 2k you know i'm still yet to pre-order but you know that's gonna come obviously when the next gen trailer uh gets revealed in um august 28th uh which is i think it's next sunday or monday you guys wait for that but this has been today's video y'all um make sure you guys watch the video you guys see on the screen you feel me that's pretty much talking about the confirmed um features in nba 2k24 make sure you guys go down hit the like button subscribe man this journey is going to be awesome y'all 2k24 um, I'm going to try to post damn near every day for you guys. Peace.